You can sit down. Um, I could sit down. Mm -hmm. I choose not to sit down. Oh, okay. So I will not sit down. Okay. Just like, so, just like I will not have a cup of coffee, but the host will. Okay. Just like everyone I, on your set with your production team kisses your ass and gives me nothing, I will choose not to sit down. And I'm actually in a good mood today. Okay. But I'm in a rush, so let's go. Let's go. I'm stand gonna up. Have a stand up. Yes. I want to show yes. the height difference, the size difference of me to you. You're going to do this the whole while? Yeah, a little George Washington, a little patriotic kind of thing. All right. Okay. Welcome to Hey EW. I am RJ City, and my guest is Taz. Hey. I hate the name of your show. I think it's stupid. It's not even campy, it's silly, it's immature. I get your sense of humor. I've watched all of these episodes. I have not seen one yet that I like. Maybe the one with Regal you did last was pretty good because I like Regal. Other than that, I hate all of everything you've done in your career, even when you wrestled. I was not a fan of you. <laughs> that I can agree with. Let's give it the old college try, shall we? Yeah. Let's briefly run down the history of your ring names. You started as Kid Crush. Where were you, the son of Crush? Did you crush things? You did that? I, did, I crushed things. Oh my God, amazing. I was Kid Crush, yeah. I don't know why I came up with that. It was a stupid name. Uh, you realized quite quickly. I did, yeah, yeah. It didn't last. Then you were the Tasmaniac. The Tasmanian Devil. The Tasmaniac with a Z. Then Taz with one Z. Then Taz with two Zs. Then Taz with one Z again. Almost a Sean Puffy Combs type <laughs> evolution there. You see the pattern there, though. Mm-hmm. Once you... we let... Hold on. Yes. Please! Sorry, sir. This is not your platform. It's sorry, mine. I'm sorry. You invited me here. I did. And this company that I work for, which I don't even know if you work for, I don't even know if Tony Khan knows you're around. I don't have a pass. But here's the thing. I did not want to be here. Okay. I have been asked by this company. You've had the company harass me for months, RJ. Yes. For months. Can you please do RJ show? Can you do the Hey AEW show? No, 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 no. How many times I got to say no? Now back to my names. Yes. If you notice the pattern, mm -hmm. once I got rid of the Kid Crush thing, mm -hmm. then I was on this whole Taz pattern. Took me years, but we figured it out. Yeah, I thought maybe you could add something to the front, like Rasmus. One Rasma. more thing I want to say. No, that's, that's not even funny. One more thing. The, the T-A-Z-Z, mm -hmm. I can't own that. That's, right. that's not my ownership. Right, but that you pronounce my, it the same way. Yeah, yeah, I do, but that wasn't my idea, and, and, and I don't like it. Why don't you do it with three? Well, I guess we could do that. It'd be like Roman numerals, It'd be like the Super Bowl. Every year you add a Z, it'd be a fun thing. Right. Is it true that the whole inspiration is because you have a tattoo of the popular Looney Tunes character? Nope. No? As usual, your research okay. is incorrect. Okay, well, I was gonna and say- And crappy. Okay. Moving on. Do you here. want to know the answer, or maybe our audience here wants to know? My audience. Not your, maybe it's your audience. I don't know what it is. What's the answer, sir? The answer is because when I was younger, I had the nickname of Taz because shorter, darker complexion, stocky build, and it was a, a spin off kind of nickname, I guess, yeah. from Tasmanian Devil. Right. So it was, had nothing to do with the tattoo on my arm. Okay. Had nothing to do with that. Right. I just I was looking online. And... You're yeah. from the Red Hook section of Brooklyn, New York. Right. It's a rough area, and I would know because my grandmother lives in Garden City, and it's kind of the same okay, thing. Whoa! Wait a second. What? <laughs> what? Are you effing kidding me? What? Okay, Garden City. Yes. Garden City. Yes. Nassau County, yeah, Long Island. Correct. So we might have some New Yorkers watching us. Uh huh. First off, anybody not from the New York area mm -hmm. or Tri-State area, Garden City is nowhere near Brooklyn, the south part mm -hmm. of Brooklyn, Red Hook. Williamsburg, I'm still talking. It's nowhere near there. Garden City is a posh, rich Nassau County area that if I had a better push where I used to work, I'd probably live there. Okay? So figure that out. So Garden City, Garden City has nothing to do with Red Hook section of Brooklyn, New York. Okay. And by the way, yes. another side note. Yes. A lot of side notes here, Raji. A plethora of side notes. Plethora. Plethora. Red, the Red Hook section of Brooklyn, New York, dude, you can't even afford to live there anymore. Right. They killed the gimmick. It's a rich area. This is my question. It's like Garden City. It's being gentrified. Yes. So when it's fully gentrified, do you have to move to another rougher area, or do you think you've earned the oat milk latte and the art festival? I think the earnings there. I don't want to live in a bad area. I'm right, terrified. Right. Other residents of Red Hook include novelist Norman Mailer and character actor Eli Wallach. That must have been some neighborhood. You guys hanging out on the stoop? Huh? <laughs> 
Norman Mailer writing his novel, Eli running lines for Godfather, and you just choking people out? You guys ever play handball together? I promised myself to come on here and not laugh at any of your shitty jokes, but that was funny. So, and I don't care if I affect your monetizing. Okay. I really don't care. That's fine. So, so here's the thing. I didn't know uh, Norm Mailer. Oh. And I didn't know him. Uh, he's probably older than me because I'm very young. What was the other guy's name? Eli Wallach? Noted character actor, Eli Godfather 3? Whew, it's a hair disappointment. Maybe we did legs one day at the gym together. I don't Perhaps. know. Perhaps. Yeah. He's got sturdy calves. <laughs> I assume Hook is named in honor of Red Hook. Nope. Okay. A lot of people think that. Yeah. And you should be careful saying his name, by the way. Okay. I was Hook. just going to say it's interesting because I have a cousin named Bayonne. Yeah. Let's so hold on. See, see so this is, what the, this is why I didn't want to do the show. Because this show, as I told someone who works for this company, yes. ladies and gentlemen, you know who this show is about? Not the guest. The show is about that guy. He gets himself over, he buries everyone, he says his little lines, and then he moves on. Not with me. This is far from my first barbecue. So, back to the hook name. Yeah. It has nothing to do with Red Hook. Okay. The Bayonne joke, you set me up for that, for that shitty yeah. Bayonne joke? Are you kidding me, Andre? I'm my best. This is not I, some jabroni no. independent guy who right. came to AEW. Right. I've been doing this for a minute. Thank you. Respect the game. Bro. Okay. Let's talk towels. Okay. Okay. Because you have them, you always have the short towel. And even when you have a suit, you got a little Make toweling. A short up. joke at me? No, no, you have a short towel. You don't have right a long now? towel. You don't come out with a long hotel towel. You come out with no, a short towel. Can't, That's a kill that would kill the gimmick. Right. So my question is. It's not is, a short towel. Okay. Which was a really crappy thing no, to say. No, it wasn't an insult. And it's body it was, shaming. It's, it's body shaming. Shame. It's 2022. It's body shaming. Body shaming. I was just pointing it out. I just got body shamed. I didn't. That guy who had six matches. How many matches have you had? I, I did a Tell few. Tell me how many matches. Hot shot? How many? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe a few hundred. Okay. Rolled around a little many, bit. What year did you break I, in? I, uh, 2000, uh, maybe a 10? 2010? 2010. I didn't keep a diary. And you left yeah. already? <laughs> wow. You must have been great. <clears throat> <laughs> you had one of the most dominant runs in the history of wrestling. Yeah. However, would you like to tell everyone what happened in 1993? I think you mean 95. I think I mean 93. I think you're whispering and that annoys me, okay? <laughs> 93, I debuted. Mm. Mm. Is that what you're talking about? Mm -mm. When I broke my neck? Mm -mm. I broke my neck in 95. Mm -mm. Now I'm confused on my own career. What is it, RJ? What? You lost two matches to Jim Powers. No. Really? Mm-hmm. We got to take this out. Is that true? You lost two matches to Jim Powers. Oh, yeah. actually, you're correct. Because he is correct. Here I am he's, burying he, him no, and no, coming no. up with this information <laughs> about his career he had no idea about. He's challenging me on it. You, you buried that in the back of your head because you're ashamed of it. Okay, I... I <laughs> Tell everyone that you lost two to Jim Powers. I did, I did. I had tryouts for the other company. AWA. No, it wasn't oh. AWA. It was the other company, the one that's still around. Yes. Yeah, so it was for them. I don't think I'm allowed to say their name right. anymore. It's, it's like, it's, it's, just, okay. it's feel like it's 1993 still. But yeah, anyway, yeah, no, I, I had like tryout matches. Mm -hmm. You couldn't beat me now. No. no. You think, are you ready to avenge the loss? You ever run into him at a convention and you say, let's go, Jim? Either that or I can have my son do it. I mean, right. I trust him more than me in the ring right at this call point. call Eli Wallach yeah. too. We could do that. You are synonymous with the color orange. I can't even eat one without thinking of you. However. That's called branding. It is, it's great branding. I was branded before branding was called branding. Yes. Understand that. And orange has a very vague family of hues. I'm gonna throw out some shades. Tell me if they belong in the orange family or not. I know the not. Pantone color family, so you better be careful All with right, this. bronze. What about it? Is it in orange or is it not orange? <laughs> sure, it's like a Texas orange okay. vibe. Rust. Same. Yeah, it's in it, yeah. Apricot. Mm. Mm. A little, little softy Jones right there. Mm -hmm. That's a little... So what's your shade? What's the Tez the, shade? The Tez orange is like sports team orange. You know, sports Florida team Gators. orange? Okay. Well, I'm just saying, I'm trying to you dumb it down for the audience, well, I not for you, bro. <laughs> like, I'm saying like, uh, so you're ready to move it on. I don't care about your time. I, I don't care how long you want this thing to go, because I'm going to talk as long as I want. You ask the question, yes. I'm going to answer the question. Yes. It's not about you, it's about the guest. Correct. This time. Yes. Mets, Florida Gators, mm -hmm. uh, Cincinnati Bengals, that orange, Flyers, that orange, mm -hmm. Team Orange. Mm -hmm. you, you understand sports? You understand sports? I no. Played racquetball a couple times? That's fair. My favorite performance of yours was an early... Hold on a second. You're from Canada, right? I am from Canada. I yes. have a question for oh. RJ. This will live in this 
whatever this thing is. Program. You're a Canadian, proud Canadian. Car well, Most Canadians are very proud to be from yeah, Canada. It's a sure. beautiful country. Mm -hmm. I, I love Canada. I've been there many times. I have a question for you, RJ. Yes. What is the national sport of Canada? Lacrosse. Give me some. You're right. You're right. We don't have to do this. Oh, well, I'm this sorry. Song. I thought it was a solidarity this thing. This I didn't think it was a high five. I thought it was like a brotherhood thing. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so I sorry. I thought you were going to say hockey, but I'm you so got sorry. it right. <clears throat> Damn it. Let's move on. My favorite I'm performance. I'm very impressed with that. Thank you. Okay. I, let me impress you again because my favorite, my favorite performance of yours, early 2000s Stacker 2 commercial with Tony Sirico. Legend. Do you yes. remember your lines? I had like one line. It took me all day. Let me set again. you up. Let me set you up. I have, I have his line. What about you, Tez? What's the word on the streets? <laughs> Word on the street is, I don't have my glasses on. We got a truck coming into Canarsie or something like that. Something I got like that. a guy, yeah. Joey Numbers. Joey Numbers, yeah. Works down at the Port Authority. Right. Where it is, the strongest stuff is coming, coming in. Coming in today. Yes. Yeah, and it was so life. great, because that's the commercial that got me into fat burners as a child. Really? That's good. So, that's healthy. Yeah. yeah. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> that's good. Those type of stimulants are great for you when you're a kid. Who that's is right. Yambag Jones? Well, he's inside right now. Okay. He's locked up. Will we ever he's see him Joey in AEW? Numbers. Will you Not ever sure. manage a Yambag Jones? I could try and get, maybe Tony would want to sign him. Mm -hmm. maybe, we'll, maybe have him do a segment like this. Yeah. And just, you'll be gone and Yambag Jones sure. will just do it. And call me we'll call him Yambag Yahtzee. Oh, that's not bad. You're going to get sued by the Yahtzee people, but that's not that's bad. Right. Tony will, not me, but anyway. Your commentary <laughs> is so analytical and so flourished. I can only liken you to perhaps a rougher Marv Albert. How would you commentate <sighs> on your experience here today? I see the floor to you. <laughs> I don't know. I probably just what we call in the announcing business, lay out. So that means say nothing. Ah. Silence. Because I have nothing to say about this. Right. I actually hope this doesn't even drop. Right. Oh, so. it'll drop and it'll bounce and we'll, who knows where it'll go. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for being so candid, yeah. so honest, and for giving me all bah, that. Bah. Oh, God, I worked on that this morning. Oh, my God.